Because yeah. uh, a lot of those punish game skills, they don't directly carry over. Like, yeah, you still have the technical skill, and you still have a little bit of being able to read DI and stuff, but it's still a different physics system. It's still different frame data. Yeah. Um, everything else still changes. It is. It, speaking of punish game, though, there are there is a very infamous zero to death combo going on. So I think worst case scenario that's going to happen here is that both Luigi's do them at the same time. Oh, dude, that's 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 what I'm hoping. I want. <laughs> I mean, no offense to Nano or Jinx here, but like I actually would really really get a kick out of that. Yeah, it looks like they're doing the one on one one v ones right now. Haven't seen too much of the the Rosa uh, play. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, in ultimate, kind of got altered a lot, especially uh, in regards to her up air and her neutral air. Yep. The, the main thing is that uh, Luma is so much less durable. Like in the previous game, Luma could like tough guy through things, or like if Luma was like jabbing, then it would like clank and beat everything. And in this game, Luma doesn't have that same property. So like Luma, there's more control over Luma that's theoretically possible, but it's so much more fragile that right. you rarely get to see it uh, brought out, at least not this early in the game. Especially in a doubles environment where you have four people throwing hits around, including your partner. Yeah. Like, that's that's that going to cause issues. That could be hard. Also, she's a really tall character, so... Oh, my God! Catching the double jump. That was actually really unfortunate for Jinx. Yep. Uh, people say it doesn't exist anymore. I, I, I say you're wrong. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, I've actually seen a combo, too, so yeah. <laughs> All righty. Oh, but the... The paintbrush going to be able to take out that next stock, so... Uh, it was nice facing by Nano, just being aware that uh, Tornado is, like, a new reversal option for Luigi. Like, it actually... I've, I, one Luigi back in NorCal told me, like, it starts up, like, about frame one in terms of, like, having intangibility, which is insane. Right. All right, another down B. Not quite going to be able to take it yet, and Kankan tried to follow it off the top, but still going to get an up smash, I think, to take out Nano in the process. Is this... Seeing... <laughs> Seeing these plunger attempts by Luigi is always fun because he's just littering. He's just littering his vacuum all over the stage. Oh, yeah. Ooh, trying to get a spike uh, on a high recovery from Nano. Wasn't quite able to find it, though, but still, Jinx's stock already gone. I don't even see what happened there. I actually didn't see it either. Last, last I checked, uh, he was the one pulling off of the edge guard. Yeah. He was able to take Hong Kong's stock at the ledge, actually, with a forward smash. But anyways, supposed to be suit, just, you know, getting their down throws. Good old I, Luigi stuff, trying to get some combos going. I actually really like what they did there, because they were juggling Nano, right? And they were ping-ponging him, and Nano fades back behind Jinx as protection, and Jinx just stands there. And instead of trying to keep chasing Nano, they just grab Jinx instead. And they start comboing, he's like, well, you're the next closest guy. Yeah. So <laughs> It's like target acquired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they didn't drop it via. Like, I really like that they, like, seeing that ability to just accept, okay, that opportunity is gone, what's our new opportunity? Yeah. Like, that's, that's something you see in a lot of high-level players, top-level players. All right, Luma's already dead. Like, I don't think Jinx has been able to play with Luma for more than like five seconds this entire match. Oh, yeah, I, Luma really hasn't had the chance to do anything, which is really unfortunate. But we have another one. That, like the Lumas keep coming really fresh. Here we go. Actually, run up, up smash. Yeah. All right. Actually, even game right now. Uh, both. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Luigi. Or excuse me, Elegant losing his stocks, and now Red Team is actually in the lead. Very, very slightly. I put them. I put them as having like 0.5 more percent because right now, now they're in a serious deficit. Jinx needs to stay alive. Yeah. And we're seeing Jinx do that too. He's trying to stay as far back as possible, only popping in to help get Nano out of that combo. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got the edge guard situation. Both of the red team actually has an advantage on the on the same side, so it's they're gonna try to push that, but now green team is like getting advantage on both sides of the stage here. Nano having to make up his mind, thinks that Jinx has made it back onto stage just fine, and both Luigi's not being picky. They're like, yeah, your teammate's at a high percent, but you're still at death percent, we'll finish you off first. Yep, and that's just sure you can end. One Rosa versus two Plumbers, and yeah, that's going to do it just right there. That tornado is so hard to tag in that situation. Yeah, it's, it's multi-hit, yeah. so that already makes it hard. And then there's a win box that could kind of screw you up. Yeah, in terms of your spacing, your conceptual idea of what, what your timing is going to be. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that wasn't an untackable. We didn't see the red sparks, but still very hard, especially when you don't have a double jump at that point. Yeah. Because then as Rosa, you're going to have to preemptively up B. And then you have two people, one of them being elegant, who's so comfortable off stage. So you can just chill in the drop zone, and you have Con Con covering the high recovery. You're you're basically dead at that point. Yeah.
But, I mean, overall, it was a good showing by Nano and Jinx for the first game. Like, we, we saw a lot of good teams play fundamentals come out from both of these teams, as opposed to some of the earlier sets where we could see, like, it wasn't that, like, they were terrible. Like, they were still shoring up a lot of those fundamental ideas about, like, who to put on point, how to hand handle disadvantage situations, and those sort of things. But, like, Nano and Jinx had an understanding, like, oh, like, so one of us is at high percent, he's the one that needs to stick back. And they were right. willing to change it up as the game was going on. But, uh... We st they're still up against two players that are like we're at the national level, and yeah. that's that's still that's still that next spot where you have to keep growing in order to overtake them. But yeah. I like what I was saying. They're they're using characters with either big disjoint or like much better mobility than Luigi. So yeah. I think I think they can make more things happen. Yeah, they're able to use like meaty hits and stuff like that to be able to catch people on neutral get up and stuff like that. So it's still very strong characters overall uh, to use in this type of setting, especially against a character like Luigi. Yeah, I think it was just a matter of. Uh, Green team just simply outplayed him with no like character composition or like flaws in that sense. I in my yeah. mind. Like right there, right? Nano loses disadvantage against Elegant, and he just DIs hard back to Jinx, who has like block advantage on Con Con. And that, that way it makes Elegant not want to follow suit on any more juggle. Because at any moment, you know, Jinx turns around and can get the punish on him. Yep. Alright, Jinx uh, stops that down throw combo from happening. They're doing a lot better at saving each other from potential combos uh, this time around on this uh, on this stage. Having to make a choice, Nano decides to protect his teammate, which I think is fair. Like, Rosa is pretty vulnerable offstage, especially against this team. But yeah. Elegant then picks up right afterwards on uh, Nano. I, the, the little Luigi dance in the in the back line is so adorable. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was a little bit ill-advised. And actually, he doesn't quite find a corner DI, so Kankan's actually going to die to that. Yeah, Elegant picks up the, the revenge stock right afterwards. You know, that, that, side, that side B might have actually been just a, a fireball, and he might have misinputted it. Oh, so trying to drift forward yeah, as you're yeah, tossing yeah. out the fireball? That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so yeah. it might have... Uh, that cost him a lot, actually, this, this, this whole stuff. Yeah. Right. And the thing is, even at the, the highest top level, execution errors still happen. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's just the reality of the game. Ooh, and then the edge guard, too, can be able to take out that jump. Luigi still has a hard time recovering, even more so in this game. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be another stock on. Red team in a pretty good spot right now, forcing Elegant on the ledge and Concon having to get through two players to save him. Concon has made it past one of them, at least is applying pressure to Nano. But overall, Red team is still rocking the advantage state more often than the green guys. Yeah. And I like these uh, still, there's a little mini combos there. You saw the Inkling do the throw, and then Rosa was able to do a neutral air. And it actually caught both of the Luigi's in that process, so definitely worked out there. I like Nano's idea, trying to get in the way with the up air, but just barely short of it. All right, a lot Elegant. of patience coming out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Elegant charging up smash, and Nano's like, nah, son, and then just whacks him with the with the gun before uh, Jinx tried to get back to the stage. And the, the gun is such a good choice there. The great punish, actually, recognizing the, the grab and immediately finding that shorty. That's important for the green team to finally build up something of a solid lead. Uh, but with that up smash and back air interaction, the back air is actually disjointed for Inkling. It's their one disjointed option. That if you're worried that the up smash gets let go earlier, that's your safest way to poke at him. Right. Got to get find the kill on these two Luigi's very soon. I mean, they have to, two pretty hard hitting Oh, characters. there we go. No! The up smash doesn't actually able to do it. That's so unfortunate. Still Con able to get this juggle, though. Town and City's pretty tall, though, so Con Con and Elegant are going to be living a little bit longer, but the four smash is going to be able to take it. We do still have Elegant, though, on his second stock. 130%, but the more he lives, there we go. So much value just turning around and punishing Nano for his throw off stage. Con Con must have uh, accidentally grabbed the wrong guy. Yep. All right, all right, now he's looking for a misfire. That was definitely looking for a misfire. Yeah, now we, now we get the, the trolley sides of the, the two Luigi mains. Yo! <laughs> Trying to double NATO off the top.